Hello students, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be studying about how to convert binary numbers to octal numbers or binary numbers to hexadecimal numbers. Okay, we'll be covering both these topics. So, in the previous videos, we have seen conversions from and to decimal numbers as well as between different number systems okay so now we are doing binary to octal conversion and then binary to hexadecimal so we all know that a binary number consists of two unique digits and that is why it has a base or radix of two okay so to convert it into an octal number which has a base of eight you need to start from the extreme right hand side and group the given binary digits into groups of three okay and if the leftmost group does not have all the three digits just in this case we have only two remaining digits in the leftmost group here so what we'll do we'll add the missing number of zeros in the front that means in the most significant places okay so it might be it might happen that the last Dig last group of threes only has a single digit then in that case you will be adding two zeros on the left hand side that means at the most significant places if they have two digits like in this case you will be adding a single zero okay so now uh, given any binary number you have to make groups of three and then you will assign each group the corresponding octal number that means this value corresponds to octal number 4. This value corresponds to octal number 5 and this is octal number 2. Okay. So, you need to remember how different binary numbers are mapped to octal numbers. Okay. And the another important thing is that why you need to convert or why you need to group uh, them group the digits in the groups of 3 because 2 raised to the power of 3 is 8. This is the short form of remembering the logic. Okay. And how much, uh, how many digits you must group because 2 which is the base of binary raised to the power of 3 gives you 8 which is the uh, base of octal. But the logic behind this is that if you have two unique digits which are 0 and 1 in our case then you will require three positions in any number to get or to uh, create unique codes for all the eight digits of the all the eight unique characters that are present in the octal number system okay so that is why you group or create groups of three in the binary number and then you convert it into the corresponding octal number. So, here the value or the answer is 254 in octal number system. Okay. Now, coming to how to convert binary number to hexadecimal number. Hexadecimal number system has a radix of 16. So, as you may have guessed, 2 raised to the power of 4 is 16. That is why instead of creating groups of 3 digits, we will be creating groups of 4 digits. And again, we will be starting from the extreme right and grouping these digits. Okay. So, create groups of 4 till you reach the leftmost group. The leftmost group may have only 1 digit or 2 digit or 3 digit or even complete four digits also but you need to complete the remaining the missing digits and create a group of four by adding zeros the missing zeros in the most significant places so when you do this for the given binary number in this case you'll get three groups of four binary digits okay so three groups each having binary digits and then you'll have to write the hexadecimal representation corresponding to each group so in the previous case we were writing we were grouping in the uh, in uh, we were creating groups of threes and writing the octal representation here we'll be grouping in fours and writing the hexadecimal number so Please be careful that for 10 to 15, you will have characters capital A to capital F in hexadecimals. That is why here you have written A for 10 and here you have written C corresponding to 12 because this value 
is 2 raised to the power 3 and 2 raised to the power 2 will give you 8 plus 4 which is 12 which is corresponding to cap the letter capital C in hexadecimal. So what is the final answer for this? I sorry 1 A C in hexadecimal that is base 16 okay. So that is all for today we will be uh, meeting in next video where we will discuss the fractional parts how to calculate and convert the number systems having fractional parts okay. So see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.